first advanced forensic lab. Honorable Minister for Women and Child Development laid foundation of Sapphire Surapshet Advanced DNA Forensic Laboratory in the campus of Central Forensic Science Lab, Chandigarh. In Sapphire Surapshet Advanced DNA Forensic Laboratory, four units are to be established to address cases related to women. One, Sexual Assault and Homicide Unit Two, Paternity Unit Three, Human Identification Unit Four. Mitochondrial unit Mitochondrial unit will conduct mitochondrial DNA analysis in cases where regular nuclear DNA analysis is not possible such as in case of highly degraded samples. The mitochondrial unit can also be used to better explore family relationships. Forensic science plays a vital role in the criminal justice delivery system by providing investigators with scientifically based information through the analysis of physical evidence. The Deep Sangam 2018 President of India has recently launched the Deep Sangam to mark an assembly small and medium-sized enterprises day. In April 2017, the United Nations General Assembly declared June 27 would be World Assembly Day. The inaugural event was celebrated last year, including in Melbourne. The day was designed to highlight and celebrate the significant contribution the Assembly has made to the global economy and to the UN's Global 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Sampart Portal the portal was recently unveiled by the President of India. It is under the Ministry of MSME. The portal will act as a bridge between the talent pool and those enterprises seeking trained manpower. Solar Karat Mission The mission was recently launched by the President of India. The mission is under the Ministry of MSME. It is technology revolution scheme in the cotton industry, under which Churka's spinning wheel for making coffee operated using solar energy. Churkas spun by hand have a limit on production. Thus developing wheels with more spindles that can run on solar power will increase the production. It will cover 50 clusters and every cluster will employ 400 to 2,000 artisans. Government of India will disburse subsidy of Rs. 550 crore to the artisans. The aim is to grow coffee sales from Rs. 26,000 crores to 1 lakh crores. Repealing of UGC. Ministry of HRD has prepared a bill to repeal Apex Body University Grants Commission UGC. The bill is named as Higher Education Commission of India Repeal University Grants Commission Act Bill 2018. It provides for setting up of Higher Education Commission of India in place for UGC. The focus of Higher Education Commission of India HECI will be on improving academic standards and the quality of higher education. The new regulator will not have funding power like its predecessor. The grant functions would be carried out by the HRD Ministry, and the HECI would focus only on academic matters. It will have powers to ensure academic quality. It will develop norms for setting standards for opening and closure of institutions, provide for greater flexibility and autonomy to institutions. It will lay standards for appointments to critical leadership positions at the institutional level irrespective of universities started under any law including state law. The UGC published lists of bogus institutions. The HECI will be empowered to shut down substandard slash bogus institutions. And of Inspection Raj, UGC conducted inspection to assess institutions. The HECI will practically do away with these and shift to a regime of transparent disclosures. H. Aspirational Districts Program. Then. IAA will release the first Delta ranking of the Aspirational Districts program. The parameters are health and nutrition, education, agriculture and water resources, financial inclusion and skill development, and basic infrastructure through 49 key performance indicators. The ranking will measure the incremental progress made by districts between March 31, 2018 and May 31, 2018. DISHA Initiative District Development Coordination and Monitoring Committee BDCMC is named as DISHA by the Ministry of Rural Development. It is for effective development coordination of almost all the programs of central government. It monitors the implementation of 28 schemes and programs of Ministry of Rural Development and other ministries to promote synergy and convergence for greater impact. The main purpose of this committee is to coordinate with central and state and local panchayat governments the chairperson of the committee will be the senior most member of Parliament Lok Sabha elected from a district, nominated by the Ministry of Rural Development. 
The other members of Parliament Lok Sabha representing the district will be designated as co-chairpersons. DISHA week is being celebrated from 25th to 29th June 2018 to mark the successful completion of two years of the District Development Coordination and Monitoring Committee. DISHA Green Night. Green Night is a mobile application launched recently to trace missing and abandoned children in India. The APP is multi-user where parents and citizens can upload pictures of children and provide detailed description like name, birthmark, address, report to the police station, search and identify missing kids. Non-government organization Bakpan, Bakao Vindlan and Kapgemini has developed this APP. National Career Service Project the Ministry of Labor and Employment is implementing the National Career Service NCS project as a mission mode project. It is to provide a variety of employment-related services like career counseling, vocational guidance, information on skill development courses, apprenticeship, internships, etc. It has reached repository of career content of over 3,000 occupations. The NCS project has also been enhanced to interlink all employment exchanges with the NCS portal so that services can be delivered online. The scheme provides for part funding to states for ID upgradation and minor refurbishing of employment exchanges and for organizing job fairs. India's first indigenous lithium-ion battery project. Central Electrochemical Research Institute CCR at Harakudi. Tamil Nadu and RASI Solar Power PVD Limited have signed a memorandum of agreement for transfer of technology for India's first lithium ion lithium battery project. CCR by is under Central Science and Industrial Research CSIR. CSIR CCR I has set up a demo facility in China to manufacture prototype lithium ion cells. It has secured global IPR with potential to enable cost reduction coupled with appropriate supply chain and manufacturing technology for mass production. Currently, Indian manufacturers source lithium-ion battery from China, Japan and South Korea among some other countries. India is one of the largest importers and in 2017, it imported nearly 150 million US dollar worth lithium batteries. Lithium batteries have applications in energy storage system, from hearing aid to container sized batteries to power a cluster of villages, etc. Lithium ion batteries can power any electrical application without the need of physical wires, means wireless. Initiatives of the Ministry of Coal. Some of the important initiatives of Ministry of Coal are discussed below. Utam APP has been launched for ensuring transparency and efficiency in coal quality monitoring process. Scheme for harvesting and allocating coal bale transparently in India Shakti for auction and allotment of coal linkages will lead to affordable power and transparency in allocation of coal. Commercial coal mining, most ambitious coal sector reform ever, will help in creating direct and indirect employment through higher investment and better technology. The reforms in the country's coal sector have contributed to enhancing energy capacity, efficiency, and security. Swatch H iconic places sit. The third phase of SIP was launched at Mana Village which is situated close to the Bhadranay Temple in Uttarakhand. Sabrimala in Kerala and the Raghavendra Swami Temple in Korno Obandri Pradesh are among the ten iconic sites added to the phase III Swatch H Iconic Places SIP mission. The Swatch H Iconic Places is an initiative under the Swatch H Garad mission. SIP is a collaborated project with three other central ministries, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Ministry of Culture and Ministry of Tourism.